This session we'll be expanding on the HTML knowledge we got from the first session. Uh, if you haven't done the first session, um, follow the links here uh, and it'll show you how to install brackets, which is the text editor that we're using, um, and get you started writing your first web page. Uh, it'll also give you a good grounding in HTML, so if you haven't had that, it's well worth checking out. Um, you don't have to use brackets, you can use any text editor or IDE, integrated development environment that you want, uh, but all of the examples are going to be in brackets. This week we're creating pages with images on. Um, all of the images are taken from the same spot and turning through the eight points of the compass. Um, this gives us the effect of turning around on the spot. You're free to use your own images and I encourage you to do so, um, but there are images there to use so you don't have to. Um, if you do create stuff, please uh, put a link in the comments or send us the code and we'll advertise it on the channel. Uh, if you're ready to get started, let's go. Getting started, we open up the project. If you don't know how to open up the project, then uh, refer to the first video in this series. That'll explain how to download this, these starting materials. From there, we go to index.html. The first thing we need to do is include a heading. So we do that by adding an h1 tag. There are five uh, heading tags, or h tags. Uh, they go from h1 through to h5. They uh, easily and quickly allow you to um, add headings to your, uh, to your projects. The headings are in descending size order. So the first image is going to be facing west. We then put a line break in there, and then the image itself. The source is in the images folder, and it is 1.jpg. We do that, load it up and pre in live preview, see what happens. You can see it's added the image, however the image is rather large, so we're going to add a new attribute to that called width and specify that that should be 400. That should scale the image to be 400 pixels wide. Now when we view it, it's a lot more of a manageable size. So from there we need to be able to link to our next page, we do that by adding another line break and then an, H, uh, an A tag in there and we link to 2.html and we're going to use the text left. To, the easiest way to do the next part is to copy all of the text and paste that into 2.html, not forgetting of course to change the image to 2.jpg and linking through to 3.html. Now when we click on index and go back to live preview and then click on the new left link there, it takes us to our second picture. You'll notice, of course, the heading hasn't changed, and that's because we forgot to change that. So that now needs to be facing southwest. The easiest way is to copy and paste this into all of the different files, changing all of the relevant details like the image, the heading title, and of course the left link. We'll do that now. Of course, when we get to 8.html, we need to remember we're linking to index.html and not through to 1.html, as that doesn't exist. And now, we'll go back to index, hit live preview, and we can navigate through all of our files. You see, it gives us that nice effect of being able to scroll through continuously. You might notice that in index.html it says southwest and it should in fact say west. So we'll just correct that. Load live preview again and now it's correct. Next up we need to add the right button or right link. I like to add a pipe between mine to separate the two. Um, you should be able to find that on the keyboard. You may need to press shift to access it. Now, from index.html, of course, we want to link through to 8.html. And we're going to add the text right. And then we can actually copy and paste this into each of our files. Let's go the other way this time. 8.html, obviously link to 7. 7, or link to 6, Six 
6 will link to 5, and so on and so forth. And of course, when we get to 2.html, don't forget we're linking to index. Stick with the convention for web servers and browsers. So when that's all done, now that every page links to every other, we can start from any page we want. And let's try going right. And you see, we can turn back around through each of the images, going left or right. And that's it. That's our very first image gallery that we've created where we can cycle through all of the images. I encourage you to uh, go take your own pictures and create your own uh, galleries cycling through images like this. And if you do, leave a note in the comments to let us know. Well, thanks very much for joining us. I hope you've had fun and learned a lot. Join us next time when we'll be looking at CSS and how we can use that to style the pages that we've got, add a bit of colour, add some shapes, make everything look a bit more interesting. As usual, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, keep enjoying coding. See you soon.